Hey guys, today we are going to look at writing in quadratic equations in factored form. We're going to answer the question, what is the relationship between the roots of a quadratic and its factors? And what is factored form of a quadratic? So let's look at the relationship between quadratic roots, or remember roots also means solutions, x intercept or zeros versus the factors of the equation. So we have this quadratic equation in factored form, y equals x plus three times x minus one. And we're gonna use our calculator to graph it. So I'm just gonna type in the factored form x plus three times x minus one. And now I'm going to graph it. It looks like I have a point at negative one, negative four, my vertex. And then my y-intercept is at 0, negative 3, and based on the symmetry of parabola, that point is negative 2, negative 3. And then I have my roots at negative 3 and 1. So there's the parabola. Okay, the first question is, what is the factors of the equation? So remember, the factors are what multiply. This is factored form, so the factors are x plus 3 and x minus 1. And then it says, what are the roots of the parabola? They are at negative 3 and 1. And then it says, what is the relationship between the factors and the roots? So let's take a look. This factor was positive three, and then the resulting root was negative three. And then this factor was x minus one, and then the resulting solution or root was positive one. So it's the same numbers, just opposite signs. They are the same numbers, just opposite signs. So if you think about zero product property, it makes sense why they are opposite signs, because if we were solving this using the zero product property, I would set x plus three equal to zero and I would subtract three and get x equals negative three. And then the other factor was x minus one, so if I set that equal to zero, I would add one and get x equals one. So that's where the opposite signs come from, okay? So if we have something in factored form, it's going to be opposite signs from what is graphed. So we can use this to write quadratic equations from roots. Here is factored form the shape of the parabola times one factor times one factor. And we use the minus sign because we know that the factors are the opposite signs from the roots. So here's more detailed steps of what we're gonna do. We're gonna identify the roots or solutions and then we will label that as M and N. And then we will identify another point from the parabola and label it as X. We'll have to plug it in twice for X in factored form and Y. And then we will substitute m, n, and x and y in, and we will solve for a. Then we'll have everything we need to write the equation in factored form, a, m, and n. And we can substitute them into, that's supposed to say factored form, and then convert to standard. So let's look at number one. They want us to write the equation in factored and standard form. So I need to identify out of these ordered pairs, which ones are the roots and which one is the point. Well, negative five and negative three are going to be the roots since the roots are the same thing as the x-intercept and the x-intercept is where y is zero. So I'm gonna use a different color. Those will be m and n. And then my point that I'm gonna use to help me write the equation is negative two and nine. So now I'm gonna write down factored form. It is y equals a times x minus m times x minus n. And I'm going to substitute in m and n with negative five and negative three. And then x I'll have to substitute in twice and y. And then I can solve for a. So let's go ahead and do that. 
y I'm replacing with 9. So it'll be 9 equals a times x is negative 2. And then we can put minus negative 5, or we can just recognize that it's going to be the opposite of m, and the opposite of negative 5 is positive 5, times x was negative 2, and then opposite of n would be positive 3. Okay, so now I just need to finish solving for a. I'm going to simplify those numbers inside the parentheses, and I get 9 equals a times negative 2 plus 5 is 3 and negative 2 plus 3 is 1. And then a times 3 times 1, I can write that more simply as 3a, and then I divide by 3, and 9 divided by 3 is 3, so 3 equals a. So I found a, now I can write the equation in factored form. I have a, it's 3, I have m, it was negative 5, and I have n, it was negative 3. So, all right, let's write this in factored form. It will be y equals 3 times x, and then opposite of m is going to be plus 5, times opposite of n will be plus 3. So there is factored form, the first thing the question was asking for. Now I need to convert this to standard form. So I just need to multiply these three, these three things together. There's a couple of ways you can do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this either with foil or the box, and then I will distribute that 3 to it. So let me do the box with x plus 5 times x plus 3. x times x is x squared, x times 3 is 3x, x times 5 is 5x, and 5 times 3 is 15. And then when I combine like terms, I get x squared plus 8x plus 15. Okay, so I just multiplied these two binomials, and now I'm going to distribute the 3 to it. So I'm going to get y equals 3 times x squared plus 8x plus 15. So now I distribute y equals 3x squared plus 24x, and then 3 times 15 is 45. So we can double check that we did this correctly by graphing both of these equations. Let's start by graphing the factored form, 3 times x plus 5 times x plus 3. And it looks like I do have negative 5, 0 and negative 3, 0. And then if I go up, I can probably find that point 2, 9. Yes, it looks like I have a point right there at 2, 9. Okay, so I wrote the factored form correctly. Now let's make sure that I converted to standard form correctly. 3x squared plus 24x plus 45. Looks like it's the same parabola, so I did it correctly. So that's how you can double check with a graphing calculator. Okay, let's look at number two. They gave us our solutions, which are the same thing as x-intercepts roots. So those will be m and n, and then they gave us a point, x and y. So I'm going to start by substituting into factored form, which is y equals a times x minus m times x minus n. So now we're going to replace m and n with negative 3 and 1, and then x and y with negative 5 and negative 3. So y, I'm going to substitute with negative 3, equals a times x is negative 5, and then the opposite of m is positive 3, times x is negative 5 again and the opposite of n is minus 1. 
Okay, now let's simplify those numbers inside the parentheses and I get negative three equals a times negative five plus three is negative two and negative five minus one is negative six. So I get negative three equals negative two times negative six is 12. So negative three equals 12 a and then I divide by 12 and negative three over 12 simplifies to negative one fourth. So now I have a, it's negative one fourth. I have m and n, negative three and negative one. I can write this equation in factored form. It'll be y equals a was negative one fourth times x, the opposite of m is plus three, and the opposite of n is minus one. So there is factored form. Now I just need to convert this to standard form. So this time I'm gonna use FOIL to multiply my two binomials, and then after I simplify that, I will distribute the negative one-fourth to it. So I'm gonna get y equals negative one-fourth times x times x is x squared, x times negative one is negative one x, three times x is three x, and three times negative one is negative three. And then before I distribute, I'm gonna combine like terms. So I get y equals negative one fourth x squared plus two x minus three. Okay, now I am going to distribute this negative one fourth. So negative one fourth times x squared is negative one fourth x squared. Negative one fourth times positive two x is positive one half x. And then negative one fourth times negative three is positive three fourths. And you could double check that with the Desmos graphing calculator if you wanted. All right, let's look at number three. They did not tell us here are the roots or solutions and here's the point, but they did give us a table of values. So if we look at this, we should be able to recognize where the solutions are and then we can use any point from the table. So solutions are X intercept. It's gonna be where Y is zero. I see two of those points at negative two, zero and three, zero. So I'm gonna use negative two as M and three as n. And then I can use any point from this table for x and y. So I'm gonna use this last point just since those numbers are positive, but any other number besides the roots would work. So now I can plug this in to a factored form, which is y equals a times x minus m times x minus n. So I'm going to replace y with six. So it'll be six equals a times, I'm gonna replace x with four. And then the opposite of m is plus two times, I'm replacing x with four, and the opposite of n is minus three. All right, now let's multiply, or simplify those numbers inside the parentheses. So I get six equals a times four plus two is six and four minus three is one. So a times six times one simplifies to six a and then I divide by six. So a is one. So now I can write the equation in factored form because I have a is one. I have m it's negative two and I have n it is three. So in factored form, our equation will be y equals one for a times x, the opposite of m is plus two times x and the opposite of n is minus three. And then I don't really need to put that one there, so I can simplify this by writing y equals x plus two times x minus three. So there's the equation in factored form, and all I have to do to convert this to standard form is multiply this binomial times a binomial. So you could use FOIL, I'm gonna use the box this time. X 
times, or plus two times x minus three, that's x squared. x times negative three is negative three x. x times two is two x, and two times negative three is negative six. And now I'm going to combine like terms, and I get x squared minus x minus six. So that is the equation in standard form. y equals x squared minus x minus six. Okay, let's look at the last one. So again, they didn't come out and say, here are the solutions, here's a point, but they gave us a graph so we can determine that from the graph. So these are gonna be M and N since those are the roots. Looks like this one's at negative one and I'll let that be M. And this one is at positive one, two, three, four. So I'll let that be N. And then here is the point that they want us to use since they have it marked and that is at zero, four. So I'll use that for X and Y. So now I can substitute in two factored form, which is Y equals A times X minus M times X minus N. So I'm going to replace Y with four equals A times, I'm going to replace X with zero and then the opposite of m would be positive one. Times I'm going to replace x with zero, and the opposite of n, which is four, would be minus four. Okay, now let's simplify by doing the numbers inside the parentheses. So it'll be four equals a times zero plus one is one, times zero minus four is negative four. And a times one times negative four simplifies to negative four a. So four equals negative four a. And when I divide by four, by negative four, I get that negative one equals a. So now I have everything I need to write the equation in factored form. I have that a is negative one. I have that m is negative one and n is positive four. So let's write that equation in factored form. It would be y equals a is negative one times x, the opposite of m is plus one, x, and then the opposite of n is minus four. And then there's just a little bit more simple way I can write this instead of putting negative one, I can just put a negative sign there. So it'll be y equals negative times x plus one, times x minus four for the factored form. And now I need to convert this to standard form. So I'm going to multiply the binomial times a binomial, and then I will just distribute a negative sign to the product. So I'm gonna use the box for x plus one times x minus four. x times x is x squared, x times negative four is negative four x, x times one is one x or just x, and then one times negative four is negative four. And then I combine like terms and I get x squared minus three x minus four. So after I multiplied, I get y equals negative times that product I just got, which was x squared minus three x minus four. And now I'm gonna distribute the negative to it. I'm just gonna change all the signs. So I get y equals negative x squared plus three x plus four for the standard form equation.